Good morning, good Tuesday morning. Pastor Ken Harvest Church bringing you greetings today, sharing with you this week about getting a new start. Since it's the eighth month, eighth the number of new beginnings, second day of August, let's see what we can do about getting a new start, a right start, a good start, starting over. Maybe there's some things in your life you need to start over, right? Need to do over. Well, I went back a sermon a few weeks ago and talked about how I took some steps in my life to get a fresh, clean start. The first one I talked about yesterday was I found forgiveness of all I'd done wrong through Jesus Christ. Today, I made Jesus the Lord of my life. I really gave my life to God and said, God, I want your plan for my life. I don't want to live out what Ken wants to do or uh, do my own thing, as we used to say. I want to live God's way and fulfill God's plan for my life. Wow, it's turned out so awesome for me, and I know it will for you. Here's my verse of scripture, Galatians 2.20. Paul writes it and he says, this, says it like this. I'm reading out of the International Children's Bible so we can all understand it a little bit, right? Get it down on our level. He says, I do not live for myself anymore. It is Christ living in me. I still live in my body, but I live by faith in the Son of God. He loved me and gave himself for me. You know, when I realized in my life there's a difference between just believing in God and just being saved and really giving my whole life to God, saying, God's here's my life, take my life, use me, fill me, use me, the old hymn, mold me, make me, fill me, use me. I said that to God, and He's taken my life, and I've done my best to live for Him, and He's rewarded my life. The next step I made after finding forgiveness was giving my life to God. Maybe this morning you need to give your life to God, your whole life to God, and I pray you'll do that today in Jesus' name. Amen.